Hello, thought I'd update on the Capri for a bit. <sighs> Don't know where to bloody start. So, um, let's clean this lens a bit. We've got a door situation. So the door was the uh, worst part of the car at this point. It um, it was only one I didn't actually rust repair back in COVID um, lockdown, the original. Um, and it it had like a brief repair, I'm gonna say 2017, I think it was. Um, and it's, it's caught up with me. So there was a big section on the front of the door, I'll insert a picture now where it had a big hole, um, jagged edge, one pass an MOT, so it's about time I get on with it. Uh, so I've begun, I've taken the door off, which involved me taking the dash, entire dashboard off just to get it out. But I need to sort some earths and stuff and kind of tidy cable management I need to do. So the dash, you know, it's not a bad thing to come off. Um, I've made a start on the door. It, um, I've cut off the main big first section. Let me just spin this up. So I've taken the first panel off. It's um, it was bad. I mean, not much of that left. And it's just something I had to come off. Uh, this is the next section I've taken off. This is um, that part there, obviously. I'm going as far as I feel I need to to get rid of it. So I'm going to creep in back. There's another section here to do. As you can see, it's very pitted, missing a lot. So there's no point even trying to cure rust this or anything of the such because it will just come back. Um, flip it over and show you the other side in a sec. These, I need to have a good think about these because I don't know whether it's something that I should cut out. Catching the light. It's pitted, but I'm hoping cure rust can help kind of bring it back. This is going to be painted the new colour at the end of um, this, so this is the final uh, painting effort it's going to have, so that it needs to last. Um, so I don't want it creeping back up on me. But then, <sighs> if it doesn't need to be doing, I don't want to, so let me just flip this around. Ugh. So. Along the bottom here, need some work there, which wasn't there before I started grinding, so that's lucky I found this I knew about. You can all you can see that when you open the door. And luckily, when you go along the um, the sill, like the door shut of the car, you can see like rust stains, particularly along here where it's catching and it's um, leaving rust marks. Oh no, that's the front. That's that's the one that left the stain. Um, because I flipped the door over now, haven't I? <laughs> so this one is quite bad. It needs it needs a big section put in. I'll do a swoop and then a top bit and try and put this recess in so it doesn't catch on anything. Um, so even though it's hard to see when the door is in place, it's um it, it was leaving stained, so I could see it all along here. It has needed some work. It's um. I'm hoping I can just get away with putting the top skin because originally the metal, as you can see here, is folded over. So this is the front piece lapped over, kind of like I was going for here. Once I've cut that piece out, it'll be flush, don't worry about that. Um, but I haven't really got the, the means to bend the metal efficiently. And the steel I'm using is a little bit thicker than what the car was made of. Let me see what it is. Yes, one and a half almost. Um, and the steel of the car isn't quite that. So the inside skin at least is one mil. So I've kind of gone a bit over, but I'm actually running out of metal. I haven't got too much left. It's a nice scrap pile here. I got a massive sheet over there, but it's it's quite thick. It's like two and a half, so it's not good for this. Um, so I'm just gonna put a layer 
on the top and join it here, I think, because I can't really be folding it effectively. And I'm just going to have a really thick shut line if I do that. Like, I've tried it here, and it's just not really wanting to bend around to the point that I wanted to. And when I get it, it's going to be quite thick. Anyway, so I need to touch this area. I need to get on here. This needs a section doing. Um, I have to use the door that's on the car still to do the template for that. And then when we come to the inside of the pegs that hold the, um, the trim on, which is the rusty spots you can see from the other side, it, it, it's not particularly terminal. It's quite solid to the point where I believe Curus should do its job. still solid. It's not particularly fraught with rust, you know, it's, it's just the other pieces under that uh, insulation. So um, yeah, this is where I'm at. It's um, it's going to be a bit of labour of love, this door. I'd, I'd probably get the argument, why have you bothered? Thing is, the youngest Capri is still, you know, 35. 36 years old um, you're not really replacing a door with a guarantee that it's in good shape and plus if it's been if it's been um, sold on why was it being sold on typically the car was rotten out and they've taken the door off to break it so is the door even going to be that much better than the rest of the car I'd rather take my chances with this door which is in generally okay shape it's just it needed some patching. So as long as um, I can keep it all straight and true, this should be a serviceable door. This one's the one worrying me the most because it's going to need about two plates just to keep the shape of it. But call me a bit of a plonker, but all this stuff is all low down. You're not really going to see it. So it doesn't need to be perfect. And at no point did I say this car had to be either. It's not, I'm not about that. I don't do things to utter perfection because I would never live with it because I'd be too scared to drive the bloody thing. So um, yeah, I'm plodding on. It's going to be a case of um, a couple of hours work. Like the, the more I kind of touch upon, the more I'm realising is actually... See, that's the first part I cut out thinking, oh, that's not too bad. And then you could turn it over. Come on, come on. And you realise it was worse than it was, so I kept on going. And then you, you reach the point where, in fact, you've gone a lot further than you thought. So those were from here. So I've kept going and kept going. When I've patched the bonnet before, it comes back if you don't cut out too much. Like enough of it. So I'm just trying to learn it from my mistakes there. Anyway, so yeah, the door will crack on. Like I said, this is going to be the final build of these panels now. I'm going to be slowly working on the car to become purple. Um, let me just flip this around. It's no way ideal, don't get me wrong. But part of the homegrown sort of project style, it's something that I'm doing myself. I'd love this frigging Capri to be out here because... I'd actually have a space to paint without having to worry about elements. But as it stands, it's going to be done by there, where it is now, um, section at a time using, um, well, removing the panels that can be removed to paint independently. Um, and then the whole car, but like scuttle, roof, rear arches, well, rear um, panels. Uh, the door shuts and obviously the um, lower valance as well. They will be done in situ, obviously, because I can't take them off. And they will be done in the lane with a gazebo or like a sort of small garage. It's not amazing, but I haven't really got anything else I can do about it. Um, like I said, I'm not striving for perfection. This is a car that, say it needs a touch-up because I've whacked into someone which I don't personally tend to do, but some of them whack into me. Or I might open the door into a wall, or I might scrape it with a jack or a wheel brace. Anything. A kid might run up to it with his toy. You know, you just 
you never know what's going to come around the corner and I don't want a car that's been done by a body shop to perfection and then I've got to live with a scratch that it then gets. All these panels should be able to be rectified by me to the same standard that they were done in the first place so it'll be a case of ease of living with because if I don't I'm not going to want to live with it and I want to garage it and be too scared to drive it around. I'm sure you guys know Dan Pierce, he's local to me. He had his car done to what he would say is his perfect um, level. It's what he was able to achieve in a body shop and he's quite been quite meticulous about it. And it's too much. I couldn't live with it. So I'd rather a car I could live with and not be petrified to use. I've got to pick up the bonnet in the next two weeks. I'm going to fiberglass item. them. Can't wait for that. Got to fit the knacker duct the way I wanted it to. Um, and it's going to crack on respraying the parts that need to be resprayed. Like I said, the doors, the boot, the wing, the bonnet, all that can come off. Um, I'll do them independently. Then there's things like uh, the actual car itself then that will be done when it's a little bit warmer as well. So it's going to be a bit of a patchwork elephant for a while. What's his name? I've never interested in that book. Um, it'll be done then as a whole in the summer when it's a bit warmer and I can get a gazebo out this um, out this lane and yeah annoyingly the doors and stuff like that will have to come back off to get the door shuts done unless I could do it now it's gonna be a massive task but it needs doing it's time to go full purple lastly the only thing worth noting now is where the car itself is it's at the welding by um, by Titch it's Good underneath again. The, the welder needs doing now is just cosmetic stuff like the door. But it does need a rear valance, which I'll get um, soon. That'll be welded on. I'll, I'll do it closer to the time it needs painting, though, because. Well, what am I going to do if I don't bloody paint it and it's going to rust? Um, the car itself is okay. It's not driving very well, though. It needs a lambda sensor. It doesn't seem to know what AFRs it's got, so the ECU just has a bit of a what the fuck moment um brakes suspension it's all sound this is an intermittent electrical fault and it's it's just frying me it just stupid things like the fuel gauge still doesn't work um i'm not even sure what to bloody say about it i feel like i need to like adapt another system into it like maybe like i've noticed the max v fiesta has a very simple basic setup where it's gauge linked to sender constantly, even if the car's off, it will have power and it just constantly gets the signal. So it's pretty much just a variable resistor in the way of the um, gauge. Um, that could work if I could get it to fit properly. I don't know. This VDO one, it just doesn't seem to want to work. It's, every time I plug it into its own branded gate, uh, gauge, which is for a dip tube, which is like a sort of um, like a tube, well, dip tube, it, um, it's in reverse. And it's, it's baffling why it's like that. Um, the rev counter is intermittent. It doesn't always want to work. It will be on sometimes and be off the others. And then there's um, just little things like that. Like I, my, my switches are wired in a couple of years ago. They keep coming loose. Um, and the wire into the speaker had corroded and come away. So it needs a good pr proper insulation done to it. Because obviously my door's rotten away, so it bloody was letting water in. Um, and the central lock-in as well, that suffered the wires for that to corrode it and come away. Um, let's go and grab them. So, like that one there, went to pull the wires out. And it just snaps her off, because it's all corroded inside. And then the speaker wires too, like, it's just a case of... They're not getting the sort of protection from the elements that they needed so they've just come away and i'm getting like crackly speakers or i'm not be able to lock my door properly um so a bunch of wiring gremlins sort the door start painting panels uh lambda sensor sorted because it's um basically when the 18 blew up it kind of smoked the hell out of the exhaust and I think it's taken the um, oil was all in there and I think it's taken the lambda sensor out so I need to get a new white band yeah and then um, I can make a proper start on on the paint you know 
I don't know whether to keep it t matching colour when I do this. I might paint the base black and then that purple, kind of like a modern car would be. Or should I go full purple? Panels like this, which is the door frame surround the pillar. Keep that black, stuff like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting the buzz for it now. Last year they took a sabbatical this car and it didn't really get much done. And I'm trying not to let the Fiesta, you might know I got a Fiesta as well if you keep on tap on my YouTube. Uh, I got plans for that but I'm trying not to let it get in the way of the Capri because the Capri needs the, the love. But right, that's you up to date. I'm going to probably do a little bit of um, filming on the door and the painting. I just get so sidetracked and I just usually crack on with it. Plus I, I hate the hate I get for the bloody welding stuff. It fucks me off. I'm not a professional welder. I don't know why you expect me to do a professional weld. I'm not. I'm not able to do a professional weld. I'm doing it myself because I want to do it myself. Plus, let's not forget, I'm a student. I ain't got the money to pay someone tens of thousands of pounds to fix my, my Capri. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll chime back in when I got more to uh, show.